Okay, good evening. Sampath Iyengar, the man behind the creation of the Indian Networker, is a self-made entrepreneur who is passionate about networking and believes what Robert Kiyosaki said. The richest people in the world look for and build networks. Everyone else just looks for work. Being a born networker, he has spent more than a decade in Rotary International and he's been a member at Rotary since 1995 and also part of BNI India since 2005. A believer of spontaneity, variety, and new ideas, being a 9 to 5 person was never his thing. However, being an entrepreneur is what called him. Thus, in 1991, he incorporated SAM7 Computers Networks, a computer system and service company. His inclination towards variety and experimentation gave way to yet another organization called Neo Social 7 a digital media business company which he started in 2009. As an added variation to mobilize his virtual connections came the idea of Jam with Sam, an invite-only chat show event with a twist. Jam with Sam started in January 2012 with just about 10 people and today it has grown to be a network of 40 influential business people and this number continues to grow. The platform has facilitated many business deals and has brought together like-minded professionals who look out for one another. In August 2013, Sam thought of an idea where he could bring together all networking organizations for what he calls the confluence of networks. There was the idea of the Indian networker, and that was born where people from networks like IT, NGOs like Rotary, Lions and Giants, referral organizations like BNI would come together and create a homogeneous conclave of networks which will create synergies and tie-ups amongst each other. So, let's give it up for Sampath Anger. Big round of applause. So we have the first. He's a celebrity lawyer, and he's launching his third edition of a book, but I won't steal his thunder. Ramu, can you please join me? Uh, interesting thing, I was with Ramu the other day, and he told me he's launching his third book. I said, do people read such fat books? So he says, it's a Bible. So Ramu, tell me something about this book of yours. Okay, this is my third edition book. The first book was uh, published in 2003, which was a trademarks act, wherein it, uh, we completed a 40-year-old book of Narayanan, and it was used by judges and all the senior consuls. Then the second edition, we uh, printed it in 2005, and then we had to reprint in 8 and 10. But 13, this book has a special act, which is the Madras Act. India joined the Madras Act in 8 July 2013. Today, there are 92 members, 92 countries who are members of Madras Convention. You can designate 92 countries for registration and have one attorney handling the whole matter instead of having 92 attorneys in the earlier cases. So that's the greatest advantage and that's what we have brought out in this book. And this book is again being used by the judges and all the councils. That's been my success in the IP way of whatever not. Did the judges read this? Yes, and this is the precedent. They pass judgments based on it. Oh, it's that. It's, that's, 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 that's fantastic. And uh, <laughs> how... How for all the people over here, we all have, you know, companies and all that. How easy is it to register trademark and what is a trademark and what is a copyright? The trademark is being used for the goods or services. Like copyright is for an, any artistic work or it can be for a software or for a book, you can have a copyright. But trademark is for the goods and services for the country, which is each country will get it. In copyright, you can register in India. You have to be a national of India to register in India, and you get rights in 110 countries. If you're a foreign national, you'll have to register in your own foreign country. So copyright is for books or uh, the software, for literary works. It can be also for any artistic work, you can get a copyright. That's all, even pictures. Rabindranath Tagore's picture, which was protected, today is 60 years, his lifetime. That is valid for lifetime of the author plus 60 years. That's how it goes. Uh, now, supposing you're saying you're registering in 92 countries. If I want to register, say, champagne restaurant or a champagne event in India, and somebody in US wants to call his store as Kanjivaram store, is that possible? 
Champagne, Kanjirum, your talk is the GI mark. That's okay. a geographical indication trademark. Champagne is a place in France, and only the wine which grows from France can be named Champagne. You can't have Champagne used for any other product or any services in the international. Okay. Similarly, in you have Kanjiburam uh, sarees. This can be only protected under the GI mark because that's okay. a place under which you have. Then okay. you have Kolapri Chapel, Nagpur okay. Santra, You have uh, Nilgiri sarees, Nilgiri tea, Darjeeling tea. Uh, one of the and Kadapa stones. These are all GI trademarks which can be registered in India. Joined the Act in 2005. Okay. How expensive or how simple is it to register a trademark? So I have studied. Like, I have studied the Indian network. Now, how much will For it cost me? For a registration, me? has an attorney. I charge 11,000 rupees. Okay. Which includes the government fees of 3,500. My expen expense of 3,000. The rest is my profession. I am very practical. So this is just good information for everyone. So, and if I register it, this trademark in India, if I register it, so across this 92 countries, I don't no. have to go to all those countries and register. This is, trademark is for the country which you have registered. Okay. Copyright is? Copyright is registered because India is a member of the Berne Convention in Universal Copyright Union. Because of that treaty, we get validity in 110 countries. The 92 countries I was speaking of is Madrid Convention. Okay. That's a trademark, so don't, don't mix it with trademark and Madrid Convention. Okay. Thank you for making it simple. And uh, thank you. This is his book. He's not going to sign the book because he'll have to give it free to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>